the Costa Dorada Catalunya, another picture postcard setting for the 2013 FIA Junior WRC Championship. Welcome to the RACC Rally de España, the final destination of a spectacular, action-packed adventure. The journey so far has pushed the World Rally Young Guns to the limit on gravel and tarmac, occasionally off it enduring and enjoying a thorough test of their potential. Sweden's Pontus Tiedemann passed with flying colours, wrapping up the title last time out in France. The battle for runner-up is between Spanish rivals Yere Lemesh and Jose Suarez. Other places can and will be decided on this final event here in Spain. For the serious business, a spot of fun as the junior teams made for a local kart track. Tarmac set up very much the order of the day here, and it was former kart ace Jose Suarez who was quickest. But good practice for everyone. Good training for uh, Rally Rock Espana. Then it was back to rally mode for a short sprint through Shakedown, not far from rally headquarters in the local holiday hotspot of Salou. Local knowledge sure to be useful this weekend. I can't wait for Rally Spain, Arriba España. Then it was the short trip along the coast of Barcelona for the ceremonial starts in front of the city's famous cathedral. The crowds turning out in force. It's round six then, the final events of the junior WRC season. Rally de España based in and around the coastal resort of Salou. And Spain, a mixed surface event, remember, tarmac to start with before Sunday's gravel tests. All getting underway with three nighttime stages on Friday. Newly crowned champion Pontus Tiedemans could enjoy the ride with the pressure off, but he was still showing good pace, quickest in stage one. Not such a good start though for Finland's Nico Niemannen, going straight on and off on the opening stage. Out in front, the local lads Lemes and Suarez were treating the crowds to a fascinating early battle. Lemes taking second place in the championship last time out. Suarez determined to take that back here, having run Tiedemann close earlier in the season. <laughs> Estonian Santa Pan also going well in the Spanish darkness. Actually, I enjoy it. Uh, it's Spain, Spain stages here, very many corners, twisty, and uh, the last one, third, third stage now, it was, I enjoyed. Yeah, we know that the Spanish guys are going really, really fast, so and we, yeah, we have a little fight with them, so we, we are really happy, it's working good. Jose, Pontus won the first stage, but you've been pushing hard since then, you enjoying night, night stages? Yeah, we are enjoying too much, but... We, we don't know what's happened with the car, the, the engine is not really good, it's not, the, it's not the same car as France, <laughs> I had problems in there, and we have to change and now, but the rally is too much long, we have to, two days tomorrow and Sunday and we'll see what's happening. Suarez then with one or two problems and only 0.2 of a second ahead of Canary Islander Lemesh with Tiedemann some 20 seconds further back. Day two, six stages in the bright Spanish sunshine. Sandapan told us earlier he was enjoying it and it was certainly looking that way as he got to grips with the rapid tarmac tracks. The youngster pushing hard to move into the podium positions and enjoying every minute of it. Mm -hmm. 
Alexander, end of day two in Catalonia. It's been a long day. It's been an enjoyable day, yeah? yeah enjoyable day as well, like yesterday in the darkness. And uh, oh, uh, very nice stages, I liked. And, uh, and now I'm, uh, I'm third in the Junior WRC. Yes, Poland third, courtesy of an extraordinary double departure of two of the top drivers. Suarez and Tiedemann crashing out in copybook style. Same place, same mistake, same outcome. It's a quite uh, fast uh, right, uh, then to a flat left, uh, and inside that corner it's a, it's a stone, and uh, actually we hit it both and go on two wheel and get a heavy roll. So yeah, that's. That's not why we want to stand. We, I mean, we have a good fight, and it was really nice to drive in, in, in Joey Boyle. But uh, it's happening in Rally, and we just need to accept it. So, yep. And for you, Jose? Uh, same, same than Bontus. I, I arrived too long in the right quick, and after that, I, I, I had to, to go too early to the left, and I catch the, the stone, and we roll. Uh, I only want <laughs> this year end. Quick and think in the next season. Frustration for Suarez once again this year, all of which paved the way for Marius Assen to take advantage. The Norwegian, another very much at home on tarmac, making his way up to second overnight. I enjoyed this day very good, and uh, yeah, we got a really good feeling in the car today. And uh, we started a bit uh, a bit slow last day because of uh, the dark, but uh, yeah, today has been a really good day, so we are really looking forward to tomorrow. As is this man, no doubt. Tarmac specialist Yere Lemesh hardly putting a tyre wrong, enjoying a comfortable lead courtesy of those big offs for Suarez and Tiedemann, and seemingly on his way to his first junior WRC victory, and on course to take runner-up in the championship. Confirmation, an emphatic lead for Lemesh after the tarmac phase of Rally de España, almost two and a half minutes ahead of Assen. Pan in third as they prepare for Sunday's switch to gravel. Six more stages, including the daunting 35 kilometers of Terra Alta. The cars transformed from low sprung tarmac spec to high riding gravel machines. A rougher, tougher ride, illustrated here by Mikael Buri. Buri showing an impressive turn of pace. These young drivers really impressing with their speed and technique, learning their craft here on the best possible stage. Murat Bastanchi's had his share of ups and downs this year. The Turkish driver though, staying out of trouble here, winning stage 10 and going on to complete the event as others fell by the wayside. Stanchi would finish fifth just behind this man, Martin Kochi, who missed out on the podium by just over 11 seconds after a close fight with Sander Palm. These Hancock shod Ford Fiestas providing some spectacular action. Martin, you've been working hard in there. The final stage, a big battle with you and Sander going into it. Yeah, it was a big battle. It was. There was uh, no reason to, to think about it. We have to risk and we have to go as fast as possible. We were behind him 10 seconds, so I had to push a lot. We have the same time, but uh, I had to push much more and it was not enough, so maybe better next season. Well, Sander Palm told us he enjoyed the opening runs on tarmac more than he might have expected. The Estonian routinely at home on gravel. <laughs> And having started the weekend well, he was delighted to maintain his podium position come the end of Rally de España. Actually, it was a little surprise for me that I was quite okay on tarmac. This rally, it's my third tarmac rally. But now, on the last day, day when we had gravel stages, I hope, to be, I hope to be much quicker than I was in the morning. Marius Assen certainly showed great speed on Sunday's gravel stages, two quickest times for the Norwegian to ensure his first podium position of the season, despite a late puncture. Tremendous action once again. Marius, final stage there and a puncture as well. How long have you driven with that? 
uh, just for a few kilometers now in the end. So I think we made it and we, yeah, I really have to thank Marlene for a very really good job this weekend. And also Solar B Energy and Omera, my main sponsors, yeah, they made it. So I'm really happy. And so he should be. No catching this man though. Yere Lemesh powering on to take his first victory and the runner-up spot in the Junior WRC Championship, saving his best for last. We are really happy. It was not an easy weekend for us. We received good luck late in the year. Today, we just drive to the finish of the rally, second overall in the championship. It's not bad. Not bad at all. An emphatic performance by the Canary Islander. Lemesh winning by more than two minutes. A great weekend too for Asen and Palm, completing the podium ahead of Kochi and Bastanchi. And once the dust has settled, it's Pontus Tiedemann, the champion, ahead of Lemesh. Suarez third, only a point more than Palm in the end. Asen moving up from seventh to fifth in the final standings. And over the page, Kochi, Bury, Niemann, Bastanchi and Andres Amberg completing the 2013 standings. Champagne time for Yere Lemesh and co-driver Rogelio Panati Lopez celebrating a winning end to a thrilling season. From us all, goodbye. <laughs>